Hi, my name is Maria Fernandez and I am a creative community herbalist and in today's video I would like to show you how to make mugwort tincture. So if you want to find out, keep watching. mugwort I have already started I have a jar a recycled jar um, I, I believe I had like strawberry jam here but this has been uh, sterilized you know I put it through the sanitized part of the um, dishwasher and I already collected some of the mugwort but what I like to do is um, cut uh, the upper part and the mugwort it's a little bit of flowering and what i do is cut the flowering top into my jar as you are seeing and i'm gonna cut this all the way to the top what you are going to need is scissors correctly identify artemisia vulgaris that's the uh, botanical name artemisia vulgaris and have scissors and then have 100 proof vodka some people sometimes have 40 percent proof vodka which is fine it's just i like the whole balance of 50 percent water 50 percent alcohol it's not super strong it has a very rounded soft taste you know as opposed to very uh, strong drug-like tinctures that use high grain alcohol and 40% uh, means it's just less less alcohol and alcohol uh, draws out the medicine part of uh, aka the poison of the plant um, and then also water has you know the, the force to pull out certain constituents constituents is a plant has so many different parts and medicines and they're they're known as constituents and so the alcohol the vinegar the honey the water they're all gonna do their own little um, dance right their energy uh, is gonna get absorbed together and uh, the reason why I like using fresh plant is because the plant has um, still that life force versus when it's used as dried dry um, is just as a different content I like using the dry mugwort to make like drink pillows or make a tea or when you already have dry you could use it to um, for incense you know for saging and cleansing and clearing very potent it's um, mugwort you know it's good for cleansing your house or sacred space and invite positive energy um, so as you learned mugwort botanical name is artemisia vulgari vulgaris and it's in the astoracea family um, if you wanted to know it's very aromatic and bitter and uh, you know back in the day <laughs> as they say uh, the herbalist house the healer house the midwife house um, you would know that they were an herbalist or a healer because they would plant artemisia around their doorway and so either that or they had like an artemisia plant in their doorway that that was like kind of like the mark of the healer um, so it's a beauty you know this is how like the plant was able to um, get transplanted and live on it's a very very witchy plant to work with um, it's definitely one of the plants that is here to help us women um, especially if you have you know a uterus and you have cramps and you have you know you want to regulate your hormones and ease your pain from cramping as a uh, mugwer helps you know release that stagnant blood um, and move things around she uh, regulates your hormones removes stagnant blood she's just a powerful mover 
um, I love love this and, and I'm excited to try I have chickweed and I have motherwort and now that I have mugwort I'm gonna create this super cool um, tincture that is um, equal I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a concoction of a little bit of chickweed a little bit of motherwort and a little bit of uh, mugwort so maiden mother and chromewort the three archetypes right it's gonna be really powerful and I'm really looking forward to this medicine <laughs> like ethical harvesting is really important so you want to make sure that if you're gonna harvest some mugwort that you do it right then and there that don't don't leave it for another day because we have to be really conscious about what we're doing how we're doing it and a lot of the plants that I use are invasive and you take some but you don't take the whole patch you plant some seeds as well and um, again I take some I take enough for what I need but I don't take more than what I need because it would be so rude like the plant wants to work with you and it would be completely you know rude to just take some of the plant and then toss it away and not even use it so always be conscious but be very intentional about what you're doing because these are our herbal ally friends and they want to be used and they don't want to be abused <laughs> right so um, that's something to you know really think about as you're harvesting because a lot of people are wild foraging and you know it could go quickly to that colonialism this is all about mugwort the point being is that we want to be conscious and not overtake and overstep our boundaries with our herbal friends we just want to take enough and for example here i am making this jar and this jar i know is going to be for a friend and then i'm going to make one for me and so that's all i need and that's going to last long because you don't need a lot of mugwort tincture as mugwort is used uh, you know not every day is minimal and again, you always take five drops or 10 drops and see how that works, you know? And you use it for a little bit. I would say if you're pregnant, please avoid mugwort as it will cause a miscarriage. So, you know, this is a plant that you do not want to use if you're pregnant. Um, so I just pour some of the alcohol and I am gonna label it with the name and one way that you can learn the botanical name is to, to write it on your on the label so that you practice um, saying both names you could, you could call it mugwort or artemisia artemisia uh, vulgaris and today's day is the 16 now <clears throat> I'm also gonna add wax paper with it I don't have it here I'm gonna put this on a cabinet for six weeks and then this medicine is ready to be used and it's gonna be fabulous you know this is this is such amazing medicine I am cutting the flowering top part of mugwort and I'm using the stems, the flowering part. You can see. Uh, to make a third eye opener tincture of crownwort, mugwort, Artemisia vulgaris. As you may know, plants go by different names and it's good to know as many names as possible um, it's also great to know that there's different varieties so some will have wider leaves um, some of them will be taller so there's just different ways to identify this plant by smell by the way it flowers by where it grows 
little things details right it we're studying the different um just identification uh just like us human plants are so individual and unique the detective work of herb is up to you there's so much to learn read books look up sources there's so much out there it's beautiful beautiful world out there so i have some of the leaves of chromework and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna dry them and i would like to make them into a pillow so uh, mugwort is also known to to cause a lucid vivid dreaming and, and um yeah it's definitely it's a third eye opener um so is the tincture and it could be used as a tea as a vinegar but right now i put some here as i would like to make some tea and also some dream dream pillows so i'm gonna uh, dry some of these leaves and then experiment with her in the dream world Artemisia vulgaris I hope you have been in watching the process of creating simple natural remedies you too can do this I believe you can you have to be your own detective make sure you have the correct plant remember that herbal allies are here to connect us to nature you know and and <laughs> herbal allies empower us to take responsibility for our own health and that's the biggest lesson that i am grateful for I know that it's in my hands to take care of my friends, family, myself, and that with simple remedies, I could just go in my kitchen cabinet and take care of, you know, a sore throat, a runny nose, some allergy, a small headache, cramps, back pains, um, any emotional wounds, right? I take some like rose petal medicine elixir um, I know that plants are here to nourish and heal us and uh, Western medicine has its place there's some chronic diseases there's some disorders and certain conditions that people do need medicine and certain surgeries to help with however for the majority of us there are other ways that we could heal. We don't need that quick pill. We could just go out to nature and make friends. You know, you don't need to know all the plants. You could know the plants that grow right outside your yard, in your garden. Like, just look outside when you go out in a nature walk. It's all about being connected to what's available right because we want to be ethical and conscious and we also want to bring this herbal allies into our bodies so our dna's are evolving because they are collecting the sun rays from outside they're you know vibrating with the frequencies of mother earth gaia and as you know this world currently we are changing we are in a quantum shift of you know changes that we can't see with the naked eye and yet we're feeling it planets are moving consciousness is opening and this tincture of mugwort is a third eye opener and this is going to give you more lucid dreaming it's going to help you expand and evolve too so please be adventurous please go out there please just connect we're looking to connect humans are not the only people we could connect to plants are here to connect with us as well and so thank you for watching my video sometimes i go off in like random rants <laughs> and so i would like to say if you have watched this video and liked it 
please give it a like subscribe to my channel and leave me any comments as far as questions or any suggestions as far as like what i should do to help this be better i hope you have a beautiful blissful and blessed day thank you